In this video, I will show you some beginner-friendly simple acrylic nail art, such as ombre, marble, glitter nail, and we're also going to review color acrylic kit by Savilland. Coming up! Hello guys, I'm Anastasia and I have a new acrylic kit by Savilland, which includes 10 color powders. This is how the powder looks like, they all have the protective seal and let's take a look at the colors, you will see all the numbers in upper right corner. This is the silver hollow powder, I'm probably using this one in my design. Number 2 is a bright white color. Number 3 looks like it's a beautiful nude that we can definitely use for pink and white or for nude nails. Number 4 is a lighter version, it's like beige nude. Number 5 is a lilac color, ooh, that matches with my gloves perfectly. Number 6 is a light green, probably like a pistachio color. Number 7 is a pastel yellow color. So this collection has a mix of pastel traditional colors, couple of nudes as well as glitters, which I think is great because usually you need all of those. This beautiful blue color has a slight shimmer in it. I'm also using that one for sure. Number 10 is a beautiful dark purple silver glitter and this is the entire collection all together. I'm using Savilland acrylic powders for quite a while and since they're slow setting, I can say that they're beginner friendly too. Let's get started with the client. There was a gel overlay and the first thing I'm going to do is to file it off. I'm using the carbide bead and the speed is 23,000 rotations per minute. We will be doing sculptured nails, so I need to file the free edge short in order to fit the form and push back the cuticles with the orange wood stick. If you're a beginner, I recommend you to use orange wood stick instead of the pusher because it's softer and it is also single use, so once you're done you can simply throw it away or give it to your client. Then I proceed to dry manicure prep. This is the diamond flame bead with red abrasive mark. The speed is 15,000 rotations per minute. I work on one side first and then I switch to the reverse mode, which is the opposite rotation, and clean the right side of the nail. Next step is taking off the surface shine. I still have some remaining product, that's why I file a little bit more than usual, but if you're working with natural nail, be careful, do not press too much. This is 180 grit file. And the last step of the prep will be trimming cuticles and aponeking with the scissors. I prefer using scissors because for some reason it is just faster and easier for me and one of the most important things is to use a sharp scissors in order to get the beautiful result. This client is definitely lucky, I mean her nail beds are naturally beautiful. Then we apply dehydrator and acid primer, let's dry and let's do extensions. First, I'm going to build the foundation using a clear powder. We decided to do almond shape today, so this foundation determines the shape and the length of the nail. Also, some color powders are not recommended to be applied directly on the nail, because the nail may absorb some colors. Also, if your client will wish to change the color later, it is nice if you have a clear foundation. And the last important thing is that clear product usually has a better adhesion with the nail. That's why I recommend to do the clear foundation first. And then I decided to use this beautiful blue color with a very slight shimmer in it and do an ombre from the cuticle area towards the free edge into the clear. So we will have a clear tip of the nail. Apply the bead closer to the cuticle and then simply blend it towards the free edge. 
Saviland color acrylic powders are so easy to blend, so I can definitely recommend them for any kind of ombre. And also, I would say they are more of a slow setting, so if you are a beginner, you will definitely like them. And then all I need to do is to seal it with the clear powder. I did not have to apply too much color to cover the natural nail, I just needed some color. So I'm building the structure of the nail with the clear as well, adding some more product in the center to get apex. After a couple minutes, once you feel that the product is set, we can take off the form and slightly pinch the nail if you wish, or you can skip the step, like this is optional. And we're going to proceed to the next nail. For any kind of design, I always recommend you to do this clear platform because, first of all, it will help you to see the final shape already and also we will not need to worry about adhesion. Because when you're doing different kinds of nail art, sometimes it requires wet consistency or dry consistency of the bead. And you can do that as long as you already have some clear product underneath. So we just did ombre and the next design will be marble. If you just started working with acrylic and exploring different kinds of nail art, marble is something you definitely should start with because this is an abstract design. There are no strict rules about it. I mean, unlike French style nails, where everything should be at a certain place, symmetrical and crisp, with marble you can just do whatever you want. So once you build this foundation, you need to pick at least two colors. I picked bright white and blue color, the same one I used for the ombre, and then I pick a bit of two colors at the same time. So I just place it in the jar of white powder and then of blue powder, and then I mix them on the nail right away. Place the bit, just place it right and left, mix it a little bit, and then just make sure it is in the shape of the nail. It is so much easier to do it that way because we already have this clear platform. I recommend you to use smaller beads because it is just easier to control them, they are not going to fall off the form and you can just easily create the look that you like. And then with the body of my brush I just make sure that entire shape of the nail is on point. When doing bead near the cuticle, be careful, do not make it too wet so it will not flood the cuticles or the sidewalls. Whenever you see some spots without the color, simply add it right there and blend it. At this point, I prefer to pinch the nail just to be sure it will not be too wide. And since the surface is not super smooth at the moment, because we were using multiple beads to create this marble, I'm going to seal it with the clear and to make it smooth. And after sealing it with the clear, I will take off the form and pinch it again. And let's do the last design, probably the easiest one, the glitter design. I did the same clear platform as I did on previous nails. Then I'm using this powder number one, which is a silver hollow. Apply the bead near the cuticle and then simply continue applying it. Since this glitter is very intense, there's no need to use it to build the entire nail. I mean, you could if you want, but there's really no need, because the glitter is so intense, you can simply apply it on top of the clear and then seal it, so that way you will not need to spend too much color, and this small 10 grams jar will serve you for quite a while. If you like this intensity of the glitter, you can just stop or you can add some more to make it more glittery. Or you can do an ombre the same way as I showed you on the previous nail where we did a blue ombre. Than I ever even... 
after sealing it with clear we do the same take off the form and slightly pinch the nail and this is what we have ombre marble and glitter nail let's do filing and shaping i usually start with a regular hand file and file the side walls first and then i will proceed to filing the surface usually i use only the hand file but since there was one nail where we had to apply more product than usual the marble nail i think i'm going to use a carbide bit to file it I try to make you stay, but I guess my love wasn't Was it real or just pretend? 180 grit buffer to buff the surface to make it super smooth. I've seen this style of nails few times on Pinterest and it really caught my attention. Honestly, I used to think that any kind of glass nails are supposed to be sealed with a glass top coat. But I got inspired of that design and this time I'm going to make them matte. Well, except for the glitter nail. So I'm really curious what do you guys think because this look is so different and unusual to me. I don't even know if I like it better this way. I decided to decorate these nails with metallic rhinestones and accessories to make them look better. That's it. It looks so unusual to me because honestly I haven't done this style for quite a while, but I think I like it. What do you think? I will leave all the links to the products that I use in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!